title of my speech today is Painting the Town. According to About.com, Oahu covers 607 square miles in land. This is tiny compared to the smallest state in the United States, Rhode Island. Rhode Island doubles our size in, at 1,214 square miles of land. So as you probably have already figured out, that the island's really tiny and there's not much to do. I often find myself trying to think of new things to do because I've run out of things to do. And I'm sure you all have been there and you've tried to figure out what you want to do this weekend, what you want to do and go out with your friends with because you've done everything already. So today, I'm here to tell you about paintball. This is something that I've started doing. I've gone four times so far, and I think it's a lot of fun, and I think you all should try it too. So that's why today I'm going to tell you about the different games you can play in paintballing, the specs of your equipment, the gear you're going to need when you go paintballing, and some of the places you can go if you're on the walk if you go paintballing. First of all, the game. The basic game that you always play when you go is team elimination. So basically, your group gets split up into two teams. You start at opposite ends of the field, and when the ref blows the whistle, you go at each other, and if you get shot, you're out. And basically, um, in order to be out, the ball has to be a straight on hit, and it has to burst on you. You have to have paint on you. So if it bounces off of you, you're not out. If it ricochets and splatters on you, you're not out. So, that's the rules, and once you get hit, you're out, and you have to wait till the next game to start. The next game you can play is capture the flag. Basically, it's the same thing, two teams, except you have a flag on each side. The goal is to get the other team's flag and bring it back to your side without getting shot. Um, another game you can play is called Church. In this game, there's like a little house. About five people get put into the house, and the other, like, 20 get put on the outside. When the ref blows the whistles, everybody charges the house and starts to shoot at the people on the inside. <laughs> the people on the inside don't get eliminated when they get shot. The people on the outside do. So pretty much the people on the inside get beat up and their goal is to el eliminate all the people on the outside. And the last game that you can play is a good one to play like at the end of the day when you're almost out of paintballs, um, it's called a standoff. So basically you have only two people, stand back to back, you step about 10 paces or whatever it is, turn around and you just unload all your paintballs on the other person. Okay, it's a good way to get rid of all your paintballs at the end. So now that you know about some of the games you can play, let me tell you about the specs of your equipment. So I got all of this information from my cousin Chris, He's been playing paintball for about six years now. He has his own equipment, he plays on a team and everything. So the tank that um, pressurizes the gun to shoot the balls um, outputs about 85 to 300 pounds per square inch. The paintballs themselves are 6 .8, 0.689 calibers, which is what they use to measure your bullets. Um, the guns shoot 32 balls per second, the automatic ones. And the average speed of these balls coming out of the gun is 250 to 300 feet per second, okay? So you can imagine, these balls are coming out pretty fast and pretty hard. So you need um, protective gear. As you can see, here's the remnants of one of the times I went paintballing. This was a month and a half ago. And it's still there. This is from this Saturday. See that? Yeah. So it does some damage. So the protective gear you need is a mask, first of all. You cannot go into the paintball field without a mask. It is illegal. Because if one of these hits you in the eye, you will not have an eye after that. So you basically have a visor, covers your mouth, but you can still breathe, and it covers the sides of your head as well. The next thing you need is a chest plate. The professionals don't really use chest plates, but they require the amateurs to. When you're renting their gear, you have to wear it. So it protects your front and your back. Although not your neck, I got shot in the neck too. Um, 
The next thing we need, of course, is a gun. This is a basic paintball gun. You've got the hopper. The hopper is where all your paintballs go in. And basically, they just fall into the gun with gravity, and it comes out the barrel. The air tank hooks onto the end right here. <coughs> the next piece of equipment you need is your pod pack and your pods. This um, is basically your refill. <coughs> this hooks around your waist, and it has all these pods. Each pod has is full of paintballs, so when you run out, take it out, refill, and you're back in. Another thing you want to wear is gloves. Because you're holding your gun and you're like hiding behind something, your hands are out in the open when you're trying to shoot something, so it's a good chance you're going to get hit in the hand, and getting hit in the knuckles hurts. <laughs> Hurts a lot, especially if you're not wearing gloves. And under all of that, you pretty much want to wear long pants, usually like um, camels or something, heavy duty pants, shoes, long sleeve shirt. You want to cover as much as yourself as possible. So, now that you know about the gear, let me tell you about some of the places that you can go to go play. Here in Oahu, there's quite a few places. One of them is Minutes. It's my favorite place to go. It's where I got these. It's $35 on a weekday to play there, or $30 on a weekend, just to rent all their stuff. And after all that, you have to buy your balls. Um, a box of balls could be about $40, but it's enough to split between two people. So it'll be $20 each, which takes you up to about $50 for the day. Um, Coyote Marine Base is, has another field, except their rental is $50, and then you have to buy balls on top of that, so it'll take you up to about $70. Bellows Air Force Base also has a field, not my favorite field, but <coughs> you can go there. That's also $50 to rent, and then you have to buy your balls. And then there's Pearl Harbor. I've never been there, but I hope to go there sometime, and I, they don't have a website, so I don't have prices. So, now I told you about the specs of your gear, the gear you're going to wear, the games you can play, and the places where you can go to play. So the next time you're trying to figure out what you want to do on the weekend, what your friends, your group of friends can just go do, I dare you to be brave and take a chance and go paintballing, even though you may come home a little bit bruised. Thank you.